good morning. We were on our morning walk and I forgot my hat because I was busy calling the dentist's office and I forgot because I was leaving the house. So anyway, on my walk this morning, been walking a while, that's why I'm breathing like this. Oh look, the leaves, they're already getting crunchy. I'm excited, but I'm not because the summer went so fast, but I love fall, so that's a good thing. Today I am going to be making a big batch of the cabbage fat burning soup. Tons of veggies, tons of chopping. Gonna get that going as soon as I get back. Um, but yeah, doing my morning walk, I do this same route every time. Looking at all the different flowers and birds and so forth. Once I saw a coyote. So that's what's happening so far today. What are you guys up to? Anyway, here's my view. Nice landscaping. So all my activities will be monitored this whole walk. And the reason for that mostly is we have celebrity neighbors. So this street especially. Um, I think the monitoring is in the whole neighborhood, but I'm not positive about that. I just know it's this neighborhood, or this street. I just walk a little bit down my street and then down this one. And at the very end of the cul-de-sac is where they live, so sometimes we get police activity and stuff because of teenagers coming and, you know, <laughs> raising hell. But basically, the neighborhood is extremely protective of our celebrity friends and you know, they just blend right in. They're the most nice, the nicest people ever. And they're just neighbors, you know? So anything weird happens, we let them know. <laughs> we don't let them know. We, well, you know, we let the authorities know. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this house coming up through these woods is a house that I, we looked at buying when we were buying in the neighborhood. And I loved it for the pool. The pool alone was what got me I wanted it so bad just for the pool, which was ridiculous because the rest of the house we didn't really care for so much. It was beautiful, but you know, it wasn't our style. So anyway, if I, if I can see through the woods a little bit, I'm gonna, I'll peek in on the pool and see what, if you can see what I mean. It's amazing. And the house is for sale again too. Crazy. You can sort of see it right there. A little bit. It's got that slide and waterfalls and all these front levels and stuff. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be fun in the summer? Love it. Here's the front of that house a little bit. That's the side actually. Yeah. But I love this walk. It gives me some uphill, some downhill. I get to see what's going on. But yeah, I enjoy it. I have like a shorter version, a longer version, and my medium version, and today's my medium version because I really need to get going on stuff. And we have to run the gauntlet of um, landscapers all the time too. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love seeing that and then the changes in it. It's great. And then I head up this hill. So much fun when you're already, I mean, it's not like it's a, oh, did you see that leaf just nearly fell and hit us? It's fall, y'all, getting there. A UPS guy, he and I have gotten to know each other quite well in the last few months or so. The mailbox was hit by a catering van. We looked on our, um, we have cameras all over the house, inside and out. And uh, we looked on the footage and it was hit by a delivery van, <laughs> like a catering. And now this won't stay open. We have to hold it together with a rubber band until our new thingy comes. And it came, so Jim's gonna tackle it this weekend. But isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh, I'm home. I'm really gonna regret 
not wearing a hat because I just know that I'm gonna freckle like mad. I can just feel the freckles popping. But I want coffee. I haven't had coffee. I'm gonna make my special. It's like a Starbucks latte, vanilla latte that I make at home and it's perfect. I love it. I'll show you. Okay, here's what I need. My cup, my lid, two, in, oh, two Nespresso Intenso pods is what I use. Sometimes I do decaf either way. Um, the Starbucks syrup, the vanilla syrup, really good. My Arancino to froth up and warm up the milk and my espresso machine. I just pour the milk. I use skim and I just like the only dairy I ever have, so. I don't have this every day, so that's what I do. Get that going first, because it takes longer than the rest. Start whipping up. Then comes the syrup. I think Starbucks drinks are a bit too sweet, so whenever it's a like a four pump drink, I ask for one pump. So I only put the tiniest, tiniest bit of this in, but let's see, what do they say you should put in? Two tablespoons, wow. Okay, no, I don't do that. I could just literally go like this. Little boop, that's it. <laughs> and it just gives it enough vanilla flavoring and enough sweetness, I'm good. All right, now our first espresso. Oh my God. <laughs> long handled, I think they're for sweet tea type spoons to, when I use these kind of mug things so I can get down in there to stir. And there was the first one. Will be ready in a minute. I say it always takes way longer. Aha, ta da! And I don't have the extra frothing ring on mine. I don't need all the froth. I just pretty much want it a um, little frothy and to warm the milk up. Pour that in. Telling you, it's delicious. Mm. Yum. Okay, this is the very messy, excuse all the rest of the mess section of the kitchen that I call holidays that won't die. Um, I had this filled with Easter colored Hershey Kisses, this lovely little dish. You can change these out for the season. Um, I love it. I have this filled with Easter colored Hershey Kisses for Easter. And these two Hershey Kisses have been sitting here since then. No one's gonna eat them. Um, they're probably old at this point, but I just haven't really filled it up with anything else. <laughs> so there they sit. And then more amazingly than that, this pumpkin is a real pumpkin. It is an actual, real live, actual pumpkin. I bought this, I believe, at the grocery store last September. I'm, I kid you not. Last September or maybe early October at the very, very latest. Oh my gosh, it's still perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with this pumpkin. How is that possible? I wanna donate it to science so we can understand the anti-aging properties of this pumpkin. Unbelievable. I'm glad I got a white one. It's gone through Christmas and <laughs> Valentine's Day and whatever else I put around it, it just matches right in, but it's a real pumpkin. It's crazy. I just had to share that with you. So now we're on pumpkin watch to see if this will last through the holiday season this year too. And there's my UPS guy. Same guy we just saw earlier. He swung back around and got, got me something here. So <laughs> let's go see what I've got. Okay, we have... What do we think? It's 
for my office upstairs. I want to redo the flooring. It's carpeted right now. I just sort of wanted a medium brown wide plank. Just a simple engineered click lock. We'll see. That's not bad. Just picked some more of these lovelies. You can see them better in the sun. I love these. They're wonderful. My tomatoes are having their last hurrah. And so I just sort of pick the last bits. They're getting, you know, to the end of their lifespan. But I still have some in there ready to pick. And then those, I don't even know what they're doing. But yeah, the flowers have gone absolutely crazy. I probably, it's pretty obvious, overplanted in my zealous haste to um, fill this with flowers. I filled it too much. So when they're in full bloom, they take over the path and everything else. But we work it out. We get along. And then I'm still getting green beans on my green bean plant. Oh, I need to, I definitely, oh, I need to harvest. Yeah, I need to pick these. So yeah, see, I'm still getting lots of green beans. So really excited about that. I have tomatoes still coming on, but this plant is getting to the end here. So yeah, that's that. These are my favorite. I love these guys. But how do you keep them standing up? This thing is planted way over there and it's fallen over and it's here. It would be like seven feet tall if it stood up. I don't get it. Looks like a little chipmunk or somebody sat here and had a snack and left all this for me to clean up. I just have to get leaves off my chair. My Mother's Day begonias are doing beautifully well. I haven't killed them yet. Nice. So I'm sitting outside with my coffee for now. I'm just going to relax, plan the rest of my day. And then as soon as I finish this, or, you know, at least have enough, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw on an apron and start chopping vegetables and making my soup. So that's the big plan. That takes a little bit of time so, and effort. So I'll do that. And I haven't even looked at my emails this morning. So hopefully nothing's on fire, you know, that I absolutely have to attend to right now. But um, I'm having a good day so far. Nice big walk. Nice big cup of coffee. Pick some tomatoes. This is my kind of day. <laughs> I'm going to make some soup. Anyway, thanks guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. It's nice to see you this morning. Have a good day. Bye.